what is up what is up guys welcome back to the channel I cannot believe it is January in New Jersey and let's look at my speedo it is 69 degrees I cannot even believe this so I didn't think I was gonna be riding this bike for another couple months so we're gonna get this thing out haven't rode it in a while and go for a little cruise first moto vlog of 2020 now it might run a little choppy I'm not sure the fuel is kind of old and it was running a little rich before uh, before I put her away But man, it is a beautiful day out here. Wow. Hope everybody's New Year's starting off good. Now I do have to reject this bike running a little rich when I pulled the plug out a month and a half ago before I decided to put it away for storage the plug was a little black so definitely gonna have to rejet this guy lower jet but we'll get her out and see what she does not a big deal Leave a comment down below guys on where you're at if the weather's like this in January because this is unheard of. be one of my last rides in this area because I'm in the process of actually selling my house right now so be riding in a new area soon this the line to the car wash that's crazy gotta watch out over near these car washes there's all kinds of uh, tire shine and everything else on the floor definitely make you lose control of your bike Can't wait till I get all this house stuff of mine settled so I can uh, take this bike apart, get the carb out, maybe repaint the frame, do a bunch of things that need to be done. But the carb definitely needs to be uh, cleaned, that's for sure, and down jetted. Hopefully she doesn't stall. We'll see. So, I don't know what the next thing I'm going to do to this bike is. Thinking about getting the carbon fiber under seat cover. Maybe, um, I'm not really sure. Uh, it'll do about 45, 50. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Thanks, man. Have a good day. No, no.
<laughs> Loophole! <laughs> I need, to, I need to repolish this thing. Always get attention when you're on your bike. That's the good thing about a rocket, so no matter where you go, somebody's always going to ask you something. Sometimes it's not good if you're in a rush to get somewhere, though. Or if you're trying to get in someplace and get out of someplace real quick. The attention's nice, but sometimes it's not. I wonder what they're building here now. Always doing something. A lot of people out right now. I normally don't like to ride in this area when there's this many people out. It's dangerous. Everybody's on their cell phones. I got my insurance and registration in the bike. I took it out. I don't know if I put it back in. Sometimes you get that negative attention, you know, from the police. <laughs> little time got people coming over my house today to look at the house so I had a little in between little in between time so with this weather I had to get out jump on this thing stretch its legs out I know you guys watching this video, if you've seen my previous videos, it's pretty much the same route I always take. Didn't want to go a different way today. Just felt like taking the normal route. thing about having a CVT cover on your bike it's really loud not the bike itself but you can hear the transmission like when you come to a stop so if you're thinking about doing that be prepared to hear a little noise when you come to stops and things like that
bad thing about this area there's so many lights I still can't get over this. It's January, 68 degrees. This is unheard of. It's unbelievable. I'm not complaining. It's nice to be out here. I hope everybody in the New Year's got big plans for their bikes. Save up your pennies, your nickels and your dimes. It adds up. You save your change for six months, you get a bike part. side of the highway. So here goes somebody right here is trying to do it. This is what causes accidents. Idiots. Cut you off though.
Once I drop down a jet size, I should have been able to. I should definitely be able to hit 50 in an area like that. That same spot, I would hit like 48, 49. Then I put an NCY variator on. I think the variator was faulty. Then the bike wouldn't go above like 38. So now I'm back to, uh, and that's what that was with four and a half and five and a half gram sliders. Now I'm back to my stock variator. Same weight setup, 48, 4.5 and 5.5 sliders. I just hit what 46 so I don't know what was going on with my NCY variator but maybe it could have been because when I put that on it, it was freezing cold when I took the bike out 30 degrees something like that 35 degrees so the dense air messing with the carburetor that could be an issue I'm not really sure I'm not a carburetor expert but if I was to guess that's what my guess is Once I move and get all settled in, this thing will definitely be doing 50 miles an hour once I get some time to mess around with it. And I am 230 pounds, and I don't tuck. That's 46, you know, sitting up perfectly straight. So, let's see, maybe I should go down through the junkyard today. I'll do that. I shouldn't be riding over here because this is all the scrap guys come with their oh, oh man the roads are garbage wow this was a bad idea we call over here the projects or low income housing
another thing I like about Jersey is you can turn on red. In New York, you can't. President. Free mar flea market, uh, flea market traffic. y'all for watching this is pretty much going to wrap up this video i really appreciate everybody taking their time watching this video if you haven't please subscribe hit that like button hit the bell so you get a notification every time i put up a new video hope everybody has a great 2020 thanks for stopping by until next time peace